So welcome to PC Building Simulator 2. If you didn't know, PC Building Simulator 2 released today. Now before I get a whole bunch of comments down in the comments section, PC Building Simulator 2 is only on Epic Game Store right now. Um, as far as consoles, according to their FAQs, they have nothing to announce about console release at this time. So it's currently only on PC and only on the Epic Game Store. However, if you did play the beta when it was out, there is a 15% off discount in the Epic Store. And if you didn't play the beta, I believe it's going until November 1st, 2022, there's a 10% discount on the game. So if you want to pick it up, be sure to do so during the discount time, because discounts are always nice. On the first glance here, this looks exactly like the beta started off. So uh, let's read through this, see what it says. It says, it's a new day and a new shop. It might not look like much, but it's all you have since the old one mysteriously burned down. Read the note from Uncle Tim to find out more. Okay, so let's click continue here. Got a newspaper down here, a local fire, suspicious. <laughs> let's read this note. So I guess you've seen the old shop or what's left of it. Sorry, I wasn't there to take the edge off the shock, but I've got a meeting with the insurance company to discuss the fire. Apparently, they think it might have been deliberate. What a crazy idea. Anyway, it's like I had this old place as a standby. I managed to rescue the PCs I was working on before the fire, and I moved them all here. You still need to fix them and collect the money for the jobs. If the customers question the smoky aroma, just tell them you had to solder something. I also knew you would need a shop computer, so I've sent one of mine over. Should have arrived by now. Check the delivery area at the back of the workshop. Fair warning, it doesn't work. But it might just need a new GPU. So I've sent one of those over too. The best money can buy. Anyway, get it fixed up, plug it in, and check your emails. You're welcome. Oh, I should also mention that I had to borrow $15 this morning for breakfast. If I've learned one thing in life, it's never meet with insurance agents on an empty stomach. Uncle Tim. And he left us a nice coffee ring on the edge of the paper. Isn't that just like Uncle Tim? So left click this button to exit the note from Uncle Tim. Okay, well... Let's get started. Walk over to the delivery boxes that are waiting for you at the back of the workshop and left click them to pick them up. They are flashing yellow over there just waiting on us. All right. This shop kind of looks like a dump, but I do know that we can fix it up. So we will do that as soon as we possibly can. Let's see here. So we've got an RTX 3080. Very nice. Pick up your PC. Wow, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. Let's not ask how Uncle Tim managed to get a hold of one of these. Now you just need the PC that he sent. Should be somewhere in this corridor. This is where PCs and cases are delivered and where you need to place PCs to return them to customers after completing a job. Here's our PC. What What did we get? What did we get? Uh, let's see, we need to put it over here on this workbench. This PC needs to be fixed. Left click the PC case, put it into build mode. Seems so familiar. So familiar. Remove the side panel. <laughs> oh, nice slow unscrewing. There we go. PC's missing a GPU. Thankfully, you just had a very good one delivered. Let's install it. Rebuild the PC. Let's get this PC out like, oh, I forgot. I don't have quick screw. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do that a lot. I'm just going to click something and nothing's going to happen. Okay, so let's go here. Graphics cards. Here is our 3080. Let's select that and go ahead and install it. That's going to be a pretty powerful uh, GPU for just an office PC. Okay, so we need to put the PCI lock back on. Very slowly. There we go. And we need to connect the power. Guess we don't get to pick any color cables at this point. That's all right. That's all right. Let me get the side panel put back on here. This is a nice case, the DG7 from EVGA. Yeah. Slick. Your new PC is all ready to go. Carry it to the workstation to your left and place it under the desk. Will do. Will do. Let's push P to turn it on. Ooh. Can I go into the BIOS? No. 
<laughs> Denied. I mean, I, w I was holding delete, but nothing happened. Okay. Let's open up the email. This is where all your jobs, messages, and offers will arrive. Check it every day for new jobs and keep on top of your business. When emails arrive, they'll go here. Left click to take a look. We've got six in our inbox. Select the email from Cassante and accept it. Well, can I read it first? Can I read it? It says, greetings. My name is Cassante, and I'm an urban aesthetic innovator, an artist. I'm currently working on an ambitious project about perceptions of danger, and I need my PC to be painted completely red to match the color of the rest of my room. Is this something you can do? Peace. Uh, I think we can. I think we can. Customers' PCs take a day to arrive, so it won't show up until you end the day. You can view accepted jobs by clicking this folder, so here we go. So let's take a look at this one. It wants us to take a look at here. This one says, hello, I went to get my PC fixed at your shop, but found only an empty space and a pleasantly smoky aroma. <laughs> I gather that you're no longer in business at that address. A passing firefighter did tell me that you were opening a new workshop nearby, so I thought I'd drop you an email to see if you're still taking on repair jobs. My computer has been very slow lately, and I fear it might have a virus of some sort. Could you please take a look and sort it out for me? Best wishes. So they want us to remove viruses so we can go to PC. Here it is. Let's see how to do a job and make some money. This customer's PC needs a virus scan. So take it to the workbench for full diagnostics. Can I use this workbench? Can I use this one? This customer wants any viruses removed from their PC. You'll need to use a USB stick loaded with a virus removal software. Luckily you have one in your inventory. How lucky, how lucky. So we go to tools, USB drive, and it doesn't seem to matter where we install it, hopefully. Then we need to cable it up. Oh man, I need quick cable. I'm missing it. Do I have to plug it in there? Can I plug it in up here? <laughs> it's, it's determined to tell me where to plug it in. So let's power this on. Okay, I'm not going to go into the BIOS. I'm just going to let it start up because it's just going to get angry. We're going to add remove programs. We're going to add the virus scanner. Hopefully, we don't have to restart. Yes. Here we go. Start scanning. 558. Wow. Let's clean that up. Let's clean that up. This is new and different. I don't remember doing this during the beta. Maybe it did. Great job. This job is complete. Perfect. Can can I can I close out? I, oh, okay. I don't think I can close out the virus scanner. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So we can exit that. It says you have removed all the viruses and the PC is ready to be returned to the client. Pick up the PC with a right click and place it in the corridor. Right click. I will stick that there. Great. The PC will be automatically sent back to its owner. Now you just need to collect your pay. Go to the email and hit collect. When do we get our tablet? When do we get our tablet? Collect. 120 bucks. Take it. The PC is on its way back to the customer and you have been paid. On to the next job. The other PCs on the workbenches are now available. Check out your emails to see what the customers want and complete their jobs to earn some extra cash. So we've got some water cooling, some overclocking, and some customization. So do we want to water cool? I'm sure at some point I will do a full water cooling tutorial as I did with the first PC building simulator. But let's, uh, let's go back and learn how to uh, water cool here. This says it's missing a pipe. Let's read this email real fast. It says, hi, I'm currently water cooling my PC to cope with temperatures here in the forge, but I'm nervous to do the GPU by myself. It seems very complicated. Could you please water cool my GPU and set up the loop for me, Donna? I'm sure we can. Let's go to the PC. Okay, it's already on the workbench over here. Let's see what this wants us to do. Custom water cooling a GPU. This customer wants you to water cool their GPU and add it to their existing water cooled loop. Do this. We need to remove the GPU and add a GPU cooling block. Let's get started. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get the side panel off. 
There we go. And the PCI lock. And we'll unplug. Man, all these tool tips are filling up my screen. <laughs> too, too many tips. Move to the workbench next to you and add the water cooling block to the GPU. Okay, so we need to use this GPU. Now that we have the GPU on the water cooling workbench, we need to add a GPU block to it. First of all, we need to remove the screws and the heat sink. Let's get those screws out of the way. There we go. Now we need to replace the thermal pads. Left click to zoom in. Left click on the old thermal pads to remove them. Bye bye old thermal pads. Very nice, now we need to apply some new thermal pads. Some thermal grizzly ones. Let's get these slapped on the ram. There we go. Next we need to remove and replace the thermal paste. The thermal paste is an important part of PC building as it increases the efficiency of heat transfer between the CPU and its heat sink, helping prevent the CPU from overheating. Make sure that you always refresh the thermal paste when working on a customer's PC. Always. We're gonna use cotton buds and isopropyl, isopropanol, I'm sorry, to remove the, the old thermal paste. Left click to select the buds. Is this the side? Which side? Okay. <laughs> it, it wasn't very clear which, which side actually removed. There we go. And then we need to pick up the new thermal paste. If you're new to thermal paste, try putting a pea-sized dot. I thought we'd do a little bit more than that because it is a GPU. It doesn't matter if it goes a little bit over the edge. The last thing is to add a GPU block, then it's ready for reassembly. Let's see what we have. We've only got this one from EK. Sweet. All right, let's screw the new water cooling block on here. Left click to add it to the inventory. Sweet. Ooh, achievement. The GPU has been successfully water cooled. So take it back to the PC on the other workbench to install it. Will do. Great, the GPU is ready to go back in the PC and become part of the water cooling loop. Uh, 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 there we go. <laughs> Water cooled GPUs. Where? What are we doing here? Okay, there it is. There it is. Select cabling mode. We shall cable it up. Select a piping. Piping. We need to create a single loop to allow the water to flow around and cool all the water cooled components. Let's start here, hold left click to select this water pipe connector. Done. And connect. And, uh, right. <laughs> and here, here, to here, and here, to here, and here, to here. It's nice to see that flexible cabling seems to be working and PC Building Simulator 2 way better than it did in the original game. Select a coolant. Does it matter? Now that the loop is complete, you just need to decide which, which coolant to fill it with. Left click to select the coolant color. Did they say they wanted any particular color? I really don't remember. <laughs> uh, should we just do clear? Just do clear in here. We'll let this run through. Well done. The GPU has been installed and is now part of the water cooling loop. Replace the PCI lock and side panel, then make sure the PC can boot to the OS before you take it back to the delivery area. Alrighty. So we need to cable it up. Like so. 
There we go. And we need PC parts, removed components. We need the PCI lock. And we need the assigned panel. Voila. Let's power it on. Let's hop into the BIOS if it'll let us. Will it let us? Will it? Will it? Will it? There we go. There we go. Can we turn on XMP? Probably not. Oh, we can. Very nice. Gain them 800 megahertz. We'll take that. We will take that. What? Why won't it let me apply the changes? Uh, is, is, is that right? <laughs> I broke it. Uh, I can't. I can't, I can't undo what's, what's happening. You know what? Just power cycle. We'll just power cycle it. It'll be fine. There we go. <laughs> they didn't need XMP turned on. Oh, geez. Okay, let's go put this uh, out in the delivery area. There we go. And should we go ahead and collect this one? 270 bucks? Not a bad deal. So, do we want to... This one's still in transit. Does this one have... I don't know if any of these have any due by date. I don't want to make this video too long because I want you guys, if you're going to play this, I want you to go play it since today is release date. And then on my usual video day of Saturday, just a couple of days from now, we'll have a much longer episode and we'll finish up all these jobs and all this stuff. But maybe let's do one more. Should we go in the day so we can paint a case? Really like to paint something. Let's do that. Let's do that. Hopefully we don't ruin this. How do we how do we end our day? We can switch off the lights. <laughs> how do we end the day? Uh, do we just have to finish everything? We don't just go to the door. It's probably going to say, hey, finish up all these jobs and then end your day. I bet that's what's going to happen. I bet that's what's going on. So we probably can't do that. Maybe we'll customize uh, this one. Maybe we can blast through these two and get to the overclock. This says, hello, I put orange LEDs on my computer to match my goldfish, but I recently expanded my aquarium to include a variety of other fish, and now my PC no longer matches. Can you do rainbow lights? I'd like one of those nice walking effects, please. Okay. Okay. So this is going to tell us how to do lights. Welcome to the lighting app. The lighting app allows you to create great effects on customers' PCs. For this job, the customer wants the light set to rainbow with a walk effect. So let's get started. Access the monitor to begin. So we're going to open up the lighting app. Look at all these selections. Look at all these. Okay, we can do a select all. And then open here. And the rainbow effect. Shine on! <laughs> uh, so they want us to select the walk effect. Make sure to take the PC back to the delivery area and collect your rewards when you're ready. The lighting app can now be installed onto customers' PCs using the USB drive found in the tools section of the inventory. Okay. Um, so that's all they wanted? So do we just save this? And then we're done? I think so. I think so. I'm excited to uh, really dive into lighting in this game. It's going to be way more realistic. Okay, so let's go put this out in the delivery area. Man, I just turned all the way around for no reason when I could have just gone left. <laughs> so let's collect this one really fast. 220 bucks. There we go. And then let's do this one so we can at least end our day. This one says, Dear Sir Madam, here at South World Country Club, 
We host very popular cheese and land soiree every year, which sees our members face off against one another in classic titles such as Ultimate Strike Siblings. I'm not inclined to brag, but I should mention that last year I entirely owned the notoriously proficient Duke of Norfolk in the final match. I'm sure you can therefore understand why my personal computer needs to be in tip-top shape. The GPU is fine, and it should be, as I paid upwards of $5,000 for it. Good lord. <laughs> But the CPU could use a little more oomph. If you could entice it to run faster, I'd be eternally grateful. Yours in anticipation, Robert. Okay, so they want us to overclock it to at least 4,275 megahertz. Let's do it. For this job, we need to overclock the customer's CPU, which means making the CPU run faster than its stock frequency. Connect the cables to the PC and select the monitor to get started. Let's do it. Let's do it. This will be the last thing we do in this episode. Other than hopefully maybe in the day. I'd like to be able to end the day. Okay. Select the monitor. Can I not can I not like power it on? Okay. Accessing the BIOS. Overclocking the CPU is performed in the PC's operating system BIOS. To access the BIOS, you need to hit the F2 or delete key as it boots up. If you don't press one of the keys in time, the PC will boot to the OS as normal. And you need to restart the PC to try again. Press P to power up the PC. And we'll hop into the BIOS. Booyah. This is where you can see the PC's hardware setting and tweak them to add more power. Oh, I just have to click. There we go. For this job, we're going to overclock the CPU. So select the CPU OC tab. This menu allows you to overclock the CPU by increasing the base clock and ratio. The voltage setting is used to stabilize the PC but you need to be careful not to use too much or you could damage the CPU. The CPU speed shows how fast the CPU runs and is a function of the base clock times the ratio. So here it's 100 megahertz times 40 to give 4,000 megahertz. You can tweak either value to change the overall frequency, but normally you use the ratio for big changes and the base clock for smaller ones. This says increase the CPU core ratio to X44. This increases the CPU speed to 4,400 megahertz. Very simple. Increase the voltage, 1.35. As the CPU runs faster, it requires more voltage to remain stable, but don't go too high or this may damage the CPU. There we go. That looks good for stable overclock. Click on the settings tab so we can apply. Left click apply and restart. Well, to apply the changes and restart the PC. Know that if the PC can't boot because the settings are too high, then the machine will blue screen and reset itself to default settings. Let's restart this bad boy. Double click to open OCCT. Yes, we know, we'll have to install it normally. OCCT can be used to stress test CPU and GPU after overclocking to check stability. It can also show if a CPU is getting thermally throttled from running too hot. CPU will not run efficiently if it gets too hot under load. To begin, left click continue. Click on the on to start running a test. Wait for the stress test to complete. Man, I've done so many of these in the original PC building simulator. This looks basically the same as the other version of OCCT, which is quite nice. <laughs> it's nice that nothing got changed too much. So they've got a 3090 in here. EVGA 3090 for the Win 3 Ultra Gaming. They paid 5 Gs for that thing. Man, they must have gotten uh, ripped off by a scalper. <laughs> oh, congratulations. The CPU remained within its operating parameters in the test. This means it has a stable overclock and can be returned to the customer. Overclocking complete. Take the PC back to the delivery area and collect the payment from the email. Overclocking is complicated and you can damage your hardware if care is not taken with settings. We recommend that you experiment with overclocking in the game to see how far you can push the limits. Remember to use OCCT to test their stability, which you can download using the USB drive found in the tool section of the inventory. Rock on. No achievement. No achievement. It's a nice looking PC. That is a nice looking PC. All right, let's go put this. Where am I going? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't even walk in this game. I can't even walk. So, now that this is done, 
get our 320 bucks. Now I think we can end the day. One last thing to do, let's give your business a new name. Go back to the hallway and left click on the business name panel. Enter the new name for your business and click apply. Uh, uh. Big Jake's Red Hot Repairs. <laughs> Looks like you're now the proud manager of Big Jake's Red Hot Repairs. Don't worry, if you change your mind, you can rename your business at any time. That's everything for today, so go to the door in the hallway to continue. So now we can end our day. I was trying to end it too soon. Here you can end your day and advance to tomorrow. You don't need to buy any new parts yet, but in the future you may need to check that you have ordered everything you need before going home. You can look at this calendar at any time to keep track of all of your jobs, deliveries, deadlines, and bills. So let's end our day. Good morning. Hope you slept well. We have a busy day ahead. You accepted a job yesterday, and the customer's PC has arrived. It needs to be painted red, so take it to your workbench, and let's get spraying. We're going to wait, and we're going to do that in the next episode will be the first thing we do in Saturday's episode. Because I want you guys, if you want to play this game, I don't want to go too far where you watch me do everything. Again, a lot of this was in the beta, so I've already recorded some of this stuff. Most of this looks about the same as it did during the beta. There's a CD-ROM or DVD <laughs> floor. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, yeah. So, Saturday's episode, we're going to paint this thing red. We're going to do a bunch more in this game. We're just getting started. You haven't bought it yet. Like I said, go buy it while it's on sale. 10% off or 15% if you played the beta. Let's log out the old school way. Back to just the monitor screen like I've always done. I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you very soon in the next episode.